Eggheads, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well out and about on the bike on a beautiful but very cold day. And uh, this is my final ride on the mighty Ducati X Diablo. So I'm going to give you my closing thoughts on the bike, having ridden it for the last month or so. So if you're interested in this bike, stick around and stay tuned. Okay, so when I uh, do these final ride reviews, I often say it's a sad day today because I'm taking the bike back. Well, it's unusual for me to say this, but I'm not that sad to be taking the XT Apple back because although I've had a really good extended ride on this, I'm recording this in uh, early January. I've actually borrowed this all the way through the Christmas period, so uh, maybe not the best time of year to borrow one. But I have had it for a long time and I have been uh, riding it as much as possible. When I initially picked it up from Ducati UK, thanks to those guys by the way for letting me borrow the bike, I was really excited because I've really loved the looks of the uh, XD Avel uh, and I just like the idea of a massive engine, the big rear tyre etc, all the reviews were glowing about its handling and so on. And uh, as I'm not a cruiser owner, I thought this was potentially going to be the cruiser for me. But sadly, the more I've ridden it, the less I've gelled with it. Now it'd be, this is just entirely my opinion I must say, so uh, you know, if you're a cute cruiser guy, you might absolutely love the grunt and so on that this bike offers. So I, I completely get that. But for me, I just find the feet forward riding position a bit odd. It's actually, now I'm used to it, I'm not sort of dangling my feet in the air every time I jump on the bike, which is what I did to start with. I understand now where the pegs are. But after a longer ride, after about an hour on the bike, it does become a bit fatiguing. And if you go over any bumps like rumble strips or speed humps, whatever, those, that jarring motion is transferred right to your back and it's uncomfortable in that respect. That allied with the fact that because the seat is one of these sort of single cupped affairs you can't move around to sort of change the angle of your legs on it and there are quite a lot of vibes on the bike as well. Makes the whole thing quite an uncomfortable affair for all but short rides in my opinion. The other thing that's uh, surprised me about the bike in a sort of negative way is its handling. Now I read quite a lot of reviews before I borrowed the bike, as I say I've always been interested in the XD Avel. And pretty much without exception all the reviews said the handling on the bike was amazing. Now it's not bad and it may be they meant that the handling was good for a cruiser type bike because let's face it the physics and the geometry of this bike are all against it. The massive rear tyre, the raked out front end and so on. So it's surprising if it would handle like a sports bike. But, uh, you know, reading and seeing those reviews, you'd, you'd kind of think that it does. And in fact, in my opinion again, it doesn't. I do own a sports bike, and trust me, this rides nothing like one. <laughs> it does handle okay, it's got loads of grunt, there's no doubt it's a very fast bike. But I've found myself more times than I, I would wish to, going a bit wide on corners. And even though, as I say, I've had the bike for a while and ridden it for hundreds of miles, I've just not really got the hang of that. And that I, I was pretty disappointed about. But I've got very limited experience on cruiser type bikes, so it may well be that the handling is excellent for a cruiser, so I caveat that comment uh, in that way. Just to make my final ride on the bike exciting, I've got a fuel light come on now. <laughs> and I'm wondering whether I'm going to be able to make it to uh, Silverstone on fumes. According to the fuel gauge, I've actually got a quarter of a tank, so you'd think I could make it there, but uh, we'll see how long it takes before it goes down to uh, just to one bar, and then maybe I'll need to top her up. But, uh, that's just uh, sod's law for you there, isn't it? The day I take it back, I might have to fill her up. And I suppose the other thing that uh, I'm surprised about, but shouldn't have been if I'd thought about it, is that really I think this bike is a sort of one-trick pony. It's a cruiser. It's great for uh, if you live in California and you're riding down the beach on a sunny day or uh, if you're in this country or in Europe, maybe a sunny summer's ride out down to the cafe for a bit of a pose, then it would be brilliant for that. But that really is all the bike does. It's got, I think the bike looks amazing. Maybe not to everyone's taste, but it's certainly to mine the way it looks. So as a cruiser, brilliant for a bit of posing. But it's not a bike that you want to take on long journeys because, of, as I mentioned, you know the uncomfortable ride over a period of time, the vibes and so on. It's not a bike you can tool up with a load of luggage, so it's not really... I'm sure people have toured on them and so on. I'm sure I'll get many comments of people owners saying that they have toured on them and you can do anything on them. Well, you can do anything on any bike, but there are better bikes to go touring on than this. I'd just say that. 
you probably wouldn't want to do a track day on it although it's a very fast bike it'll absolutely head down the straights i'm sure in the right hands it handles like a sports bike and you can get have a, an amazing track day on it but i personally couldn't so for me it is a bit too much of a one-trick pony it's an expensive bike at around about 20 grand just for those cafe runs there are cheaper bikes you could do that on please don't get me wrong though it's not uh, it's not a bad bike by any means these are just my opinions and thoughts having uh, lived with the bike for the last four weeks the things that i said may not be important to you and this could completely tick the boxes for you i'm just saying that uh, it's not for me having said that it's not all bad news i mean there's no doubt i've already mentioned the grunt that the bike's got the thing goes like stink if you want it to i'm not going to be able to demonstrate that now in the uh, traffic on the way into Aylesbury, but uh, it is a quick bike and also and this is a big a big plus the bike just makes you feel super cool as you ride it you do get people look at you or at least it feels like you do as you ride past thinking what is he on you don't see uh, ex diavels very often on the road so they are quite a you know if you're an attention seeker <laughs> and i guess i must be then uh, then they're great in that respect they certainly make you feel good riding it and as though well, even though i've uh, said the feet forward riding position isn't for me it does feel sort of cool there's another example of where i went wide on that roundabout there so my closing thoughts on the bike then cool beast really glad it's out there i'm glad ducati made it it might tick the boxes for somebody that's well into cruisers but for me as primarily a non-cruiser man i have been a little bit disappointed by the bike so sorry about that folks <laughs> but you can't like them all can you Thanks again to Ducati UK for lending me the bike. I hope it's not the last bike you'll ever lend me, <laughs> because it turned out I didn't like this one very much. But uh, just uh, just giving my honest opinion. But it is only my opinion. Have a ride on one yourself if you're interested and see what you think. All right, so just a quick little summary video for you this time. Hope you enjoyed that. If it's the first time you've been to my channel, I don't just do bike reviews here on the Missenden Flyer, but I do uh, bits and pieces about looking after your bike, maintenance in the garage, I do trips and tours at home abroad, I do monthly bike news, the odd live stream, basically anything and everything to do with motorcycles. I try and uh, cover it here on the Missenden Flyer. If you haven't done so already, it'd be great to have you join me by hitting that subscribe button, uh, and that time we can see you on the next video. All right, until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio. Well, see you next year, Abel. Thank you very much. You look lovely. But I think I'll be sticking with the old trusty Triumph. Crikey, this feels small after the Diavel. But oh, so smooth and it sounds so lovely and it handles beautifully. Oh, oh well, that's the ex-Diavel out of my system.